Good Friday morning, everybody, from the First Defense Doppler 3 Weather Center. I'm meteorologist Austin Hunt. Excuse me one second while I get one last thing taken care of here. We've got a very quiet Friday. No problems at all seen across the area for today's activities outdoors tonight, commute time, or for Friday night football. If you're going to be heading out for the football game, it's going to be a little warm starting off back in the lower 80s, mid-70s by about halftime, and lower 70s by the time the games are over with, so not seeing too much cool weather out there. Dangerous weather where it comes to, again, Wildfires across the Mid-South. We've got dry conditions today. Sunshine, temperatures in the 80s. Red bar at the bottom of your screen showing the forecast and temperatures tonight only back into the lower to mid-60s or so. So definitely feeling not exactly like October should be. Rest of the day today, golfers out and about on Windy Country Club and mid to upper 60s to lower 70s across much of the area through mid to late morning. Back into the upper 70s by the time we get into lunchtime today and getting into the rest of the day today. Temperatures back into the lower to mid mid-80s by early this afternoon by the time the kids get out from school and heading home again mid-80s possible across much of the mid-south which means for today with all that heat out there definitely going to be a good day to cool things off all the way on through hot java dust just just not feeling it sorry about that so we're going to have to go with the icy froth coolness if you're going to be heading out the doors to cool you off and keep the iced water handy throughout the day today if you're working outdoors just to be on the safe side no earthquakes to report within the last 24 hours according to to the United States Geological Survey or for the Center for Earthquake Research and Information. Again, a little bit quiet there. You can get more information on their earthquake pages at memphis.edu slash CERI or earthquakes.usgs.gov. Burn bans, plenty of them across the Mid-South and could be looking at a higher wildfire danger out there. All of northern Mississippi is under some burn bans at this point in time and several counties and parts of Arkansas. None in Tennessee at this point in time, but we could be looking at very difficult conditions for fighting wildfires this weekend as those winds pick up out of the southwest. No rainfall yesterday. We're behind by over two inches for the month of October. We need another, uh, at this point in time, two inches to bring ourselves back to normal, which is almost three and a half inches or so. And we're going into what is typically one of the rainiest months of the year. November is usually a soaker for the Mid-South. Whether or not we make it that far, it's going to be interesting to see because this pattern does not look like it's changing too much of any time soon. High temperature yesterday, 82, 12 degrees above normal. Low temperature, 59, 9 degrees above normal. Record low of 29 set back in 1957 and 85 the record high set back in 2004 we may just give that a run for its money later on today clouds here and there through lunchtime high 70s by the time you head out for a lunch break lower 80s by the time the kids get out of school the winds coming up out of the southwest and continuing to be decently on the breezy side from time to time dinner time friday night football heading out for a movie a show heading out for f dinner with friends whatever you're doing numbers back in the lower to mid 70s so warm Warm, not exactly cool, not exactly hot, just sort of the nice middle ground out there and what our normal highs should be for this time of the year. Mid to upper 60s, coming close to the lower 60s in parts of West Tennessee by News Channel 3 at 10. And as we head into early tomorrow morning, News Channel 3 daybreak back in the mid to upper 50s with those winds out of the south transporting in that very warm conditions out there. Mid 80s today, plenty of dry conditions and plenty of sunshine as well. Mid 80s as well for the time we head into Saturday and not much change throughout the rest of the weekend. Mid 80s as we wrap up the entire weekend there. Halloween, trick-or-treaters looks pretty good back in the mid 80s for highs during the day, so dark Vader is going to need some water as he walks around in that mask and cape. Back into the evening hours, the ballerinas and the princesses and everybody else out there wearing the costumes going to be on the mild side. So temperatures again back in the lower 70s by the time trick-or-treating gets going. Into next week, temperatures back into the lower to mid 80s for highs. Now this is where it gets interesting. A couple of our forecast models are showing the numbers heading way upwards, as in close to 90 by the time we hit late next week. Some of the computer models a little bit more of them, which is why I went with this solution, are showing numbers dropping and getting closer to back around and below normal. So if they stay that way, things will be looking a lot better and maybe some rainfall by next Thursday and Friday. Not a great chance, though. We desperately need some of that rain out across much of the Mid-South. Tune in for my forecast throughout the weekend on the EAB Network, Country 92.5, Oldies 102.3, and with Bob and Josh this morning on Talk Back Live. It's available at AM 730, Yahoo Sports Radio, and and don't forget to check in with me throughout the weekend on my social media networks out there. Tweet weather pictures to me at aonic underscore WREG3. And don't forget about our weather app that's available through the App Store at WREG.com. And 
slash weather and through your phone's app store. Just search WRAG Weather for the app there. I'll have your complete forecast throughout the rest of the weekend here on News Channel 3. Don't forget to check out WRAG.com for the latest weather information there as well. And again, throughout the entire weekend from Saturday morning through Sunday night, I'll be your weather source, so stay tuned for more on that. And we'll keep you advised on your forecast throughout the rest of the weekend. Again, Friday night football looks good. Not doing too bad out there with temperatures back in the 80s by kickoff, lower 70s by the time the game finishes up. Live and direct from the First Defense Doppler 3 Weather Center in downtown Memphis, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining me for today's edition of Weather Overtime for Friday, October 28th.